Platypus by Chris Riddell Read by Lisa Job. What a great day for collecting, said Platypus. He opened his special box and took out his collection. Hmm, not bad, he said, but there's something missing. Platypus picked up his shovel and his bucket and his picnic lunch. Then he set off for his favorite collecting place. He didn't know quite what he was looking for, but he was sure he'd know it when he saw it. Platypus found some seaweed. Hmm, too slimy. He found a rock. Too big, he said. He found an old shoe. Very tempting, he said, but I've already got one. Platypus found lots of interesting things, but none of them was quite right. I wonder what time it is, he thought. He looked in his bucket. Lunch time! After lunch, Platypus built a sand castle. Hmm, not bad, he said. Perhaps I can take it home for my collection. But he couldn't. He picked up his bucket and a large curly shell fell out onto his toe. Perfect, said Platypus. Just what I was looking for. This is what was missing from my collection, he said happily. Something to remind me of the sea. Platypus took the curly shell home and put it in his special box. All that collecting has made me sleepy, he said yawning. Time for bed. The next morning when Platypus looked in his special box, the curly shell was gone. That's very strange, he said. Platypus searched everywhere for his curly shell. He found an old sandwich. And a tickling stick. And another old shoe. But no shell. Oh dear, said Platypus. I will have to find a new shell for my collection. Platypus hadn't gone far when he saw something familiar. That looks just like my curly shell, he said. It is my curly shell. How did you get here? Platypus picked up the curly shell and ran back home with it. The next day, the curly shell had disappeared again. Platypus looked inside but it wasn't there. He looked outside, but it wasn't there either. Hmm, said Platypus, scratching his head. He went to his favorite thinking place and cooled his feet. He never could think with hot feet. Ouch, he cried. Something had pinched him on the toe. It was a hermit crab inside the curly shell. Oh, Platypus said to the little crab, I'm sorry. If I had known the curly shell was your home, I never would have collected it. Platypus carefully took the curly shell back to where he had found it. The hermit crab scuttled off toward the sea. Platypus found another shell in the sand. He looked inside. Hello? Is anyone home? he asked. There was no answer. He held the shell to his ear. He could hear the sea. Perfect, said Platypus.